this one that's rapping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend when they lay me down. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Nathan. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. And if you aren't, well, I'm sorry. And I hope this video makes your day 10 times better. And if you are, feel free to smash that like button. Let's try to go for 40 likes on the video. I think we can do it, guys. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And real quick, before this video starts, I just want to tell you guys that if my voice sounds a little bit different, I am very tired. I'm up at like 6 a.m. because I have to go to school today. And I didn't have time after school today to make a video for you guys, so I wanted to do it before. Before I went to school just so I have a video out for you guys so I hope you guys do enjoy and this video is mainly t for the like the newer players on Wiz and you know if you guys are an older player you can still watch the video because I'm awesome and you guys better watch my videos okay because I make the best videos ever okay I'm just kidding I'm just kidding but anyway let's get right into it so I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks with you guys that I think that will help you out in wizard one-on-one -on -one, whether it's PvP questing or, you know just you know whatever you guys like to do and with so without further ado let's get right into it okay so our first tip is monsters treasure cards okay so if you're new to the game you're like what the hell is that Nathan well, let me show you guys let me show you what a monstrous treasure card looks like okay this is a monstrous card I haven't learned and the treasure card is not any different so we have this card right here basically what it does is it makes your spell do a hundred and seventy five more damage so for an example let's go in Gollum court real quick and let me show you guys what I mean by it makes your spell do you know 175 more damage so say like you're a death wizard for an example and you're like man dark sprite does absolutely nothing so then what you guys want to do is here let me find let me see if i have one of these yeah i do actually so say like you, you have a couple of these and you know you go in here and you're like man i wish i had a monster's treasure card oh wait i do have a monster's treasure card so what you gotta do is well um we done not okay anyway I think I have one already enchanted. Yes. So basically, a regular dark sprite does 65 to I think 105 damage. So if you put that monstrous card on the card, then it does 240 to 280, which is absolutely insane if you're like level 5 or level 10 because that just does an extreme amount of damage. Even if you have a goal or you know Banshee for an example, that's gonna do the Banshee is at least gonna do 400 damage, which is absolutely insane. And you guys are gonna go through battles and you guys are gonna quest 10 times faster. Now, for PvP, it is also helpful if you have a really good card that you have learned, let's say like Weaver from Lord Master. You want to have these enchants just to make them do a lot more damage and you can kill enemies a lot faster so i recommend definitely definitely buy some you know monster treasure cards and you guys are probably like nathan where do you buy monstrous treasure cards okay two places that you can buy monstrous treasure cards are the bazaar if you guys don't know where the bazaar is it's an old town you probably could look up a video i'm pretty sure everyone knows where the bazaar is okay but you can buy them at the bazaar or if you go to Celestia you can go to the Astral Archive I think that's what it's called I'm not quite sure and he just sells like a whole bunch it's a lot easier to get them from there or if you want go to like a higher world like you know library shop and they should have them there I'm pretty sure so there is you know monstrous I hope you know that help you guys out it definitely will make wizard 101 a lot easier for you guys so let's go with our next tip alright guys our next tip for you know playing the game is do not choose a secondary school now real quick before you guys like yell at me or whatever blaze life hammer made a video of like the top biggest mistakes that he made while he played wizard 101 and this was one of them so don't be like oh nathan you copied blaze you scumbag you're just trying to get you know all the views and stuff like that okay guys i'm not okay i just think that this you know should be seen by a lot more people so therefore i'm using the same example that he used okay so i do give him credit okay blaze I'm not stealing your idea, okay? But anyway, yes, do not choose a secondary school. And what I mean by this is, when you first start out the game, they, they tell you, like, you'll get training points, right? And you could choose a secondary school to help you out in combat. But personally, guys, you should not choose a secondary school because it's a waste of training points. If you're a storm wizard, you're never going to use a life like imp car you're never going to use myth you're never going to use any of the other schools and basically the other schools like it takes up all your pips if you want to use it unless you have a mastery amulet which is you know not even worth like i think it's like 10 bucks right now and it's not even worth it guys so just do not spend your training points on one you know single school if there's a card in the school that you want go up to the card that you want train that card and then go to a different school 
train a card for that school that you want and just do that do not train storm all the way up to stormzilla because you're never going to use stormzilla and then look you just wasted all of your training points so just be careful when you guys want to you know train cards and stuff like that do not waste all your training points on something that you will never use so i really hope that helped you guys out because i want to save you guys some training points because in the higher worlds there are cards that you like need to get that cost training points and if you don't have any then you can't get the cards and a way to get training points is by you know doing the collect quest by like Zeke where you have to find the smiths and all that stuff so that basically you know gives you guys some free training points and there's one in each world so I don't know how many worlds there are maybe 12 or 13 I'm not quite sure but there's just like 12 or 13 free training points right there but I really hope this one helped you guys out let's get into our next tip alright guys so our next tip is very important because if you're first starting out the game you aren't gonna have any good pets and you know I wanna you know tell you guys this tip to help you guys out a little bit so let's say like you're in a battle right and you just get this pet from the battle let's see let me see if i have an example um right here let's say you get this pet from the sea turtle let's say you get this pet from a battle and like oh i want to you know train the pet and get good talents on it do not train this pet past adult now here's why okay yes a lot of you know veteran players you're obviously gonna know what i'm talking about so just please don't hate on me okay this is for like the newer players because i feel like i don't upload a lot of videos to help out like the newer players that want to play the game and i don't want them making the same mistakes that we might have made when we first started playing so let me just tell you guys that only train this pet to an adult because if you train this pet past adult nine times out of ten well most likely ten times out of ten you're not going to get any good talents on this pet so basically what you want to do is walk up to this you know machine right here it can't be a crowns pet by the way so if you don't have a crowns pet then this is perfect walk up to the mission machine right here hit browse pet and find a pet that has a bunch of good talents that you really want and then hatch with that pet don't you know train first gen pets and first gen pets are like pets that you get and nothing's ever been you know hatched with it or anything like that do not train first gen pets because you aren't going to get any good talents and you're just going to waste energy and snacks so just don't train first gen pets if you do have a crowns pet or you want someone else's pet you could also go inside the hatchery right here and you know find someone that wants to hatch and this is a lot harder because most other people these days are you know assholes and they only want to hatch with like good pets so they won't help you out so it might take some time if you do it this way and they also might ask for like you know to gift them or stuff like that don't gift them to hatch with a pet like that's so stupid when you can just find someone that will do it for free so i really hope this helps you out so just please do not train first gen pets okay just don't do it it's not recommended all right guys let's go with our next tip all right guys so we're in the bazaar for our next tip and i feel like this should be spread you know a lot because i made this exact mistake when I first started playing the game so I just want to help you guys out when you're buying and selling you know armor and stuff like that so basically what first you want to do is click usable if you didn't know that already and for whatever level you are you know it will show you if you click usable so let's say you're like level 25 okay and you know you see this piece of gear right you're like oh this is cool and you know it's kind of expensive a little bit because you know at that level you won't have that much gold but let's say you let you like oh level 25 let's look at this it gives you 3% storm accuracy do not wear clothes for different schools that give you like different school accuracy or different school damage like that if you see where it says SCH that stands for school so let's say you're a death wizard go to the ones with a death symbol okay because they're gonna be mainly for your school so let's say you're level 30 and like oh this gives 5% damage 8% death resist and you know 3% power pitch and that's pretty good let's say I want it but these are gonna be a little bit more expensive uh, if they're, you know, obviously the better gear, you know, the more expensive it's going to be. So you might have to save up some gold, sell some gear and stuff like that. But another thing I want to mention is look at what the gear gives you. Okay, don't go for like what it looks like over here. If you think this looks cool, try to find it in a death, you know, gear setup. And if it's not, then you can also stitch, which costs 100 crowns. So I'd rather you guys do that. Don't wear it. Like if you're death, don't buy an ice hat because it looks cool. You know, universal resist and ice damage. Like just don't do that because it's not worth it. And another thing I do want to mention is look at the stats. Okay, say look, you're a death wizard. 
4% power pip chance, that is not a good hat, okay? That is not a good hat. A good hat would give you, you know, some damage, some health, and maybe some resist a little bit. Look for a piece of gear that gives you a bunch of different, you know, stats. Not just one stat. Like this hat right here, 198 health, 24 death resist. This is a pretty bad hat because it only gives you death resist and nothing else. So try to find a hat. Let, let me go and see an example for you guys. So, like, okay, look at this. This is a really good hat, okay? This hat gives you 116 health, which is pretty good. It gives you damage and resist. Okay, find a hat like this. Don't find a hat with only health because when I first started playing the game, I was like, okay, the more health I have, the better I will be as a wizard. So I would always buy gear that gave you the most health and no stats whatsoever. So let's say I was a you know storm wizard, I'd have like 4,000 health, right? At a lower level, but I had zero damage, and you can't win battles and stuff like that if you have no damage or no resist at all. So, finding gear that gives a bunch of, of different stats because it is a lot better than going for you know something like this that only gives you 132 health. Look at the hat that I'm wearing right now, Death Lord's Vial of Well. Obviously, you have to be a level 100 to wear this hat, but look, it gives you so much different stuff that will help you out in the game. So, just look for variety, don't go for something that only gives you one thing because it's not worth worth it okay like this hat for level 56 is an okay hat i mean i'm not quite sure why you would want two percent energy on a gear that you would wear during you know you know questing or something like that but yeah find a hat that gives you more than just health or more than just health and resist because that will help you out a lot more because it'll give you more damage and more resist so you have more resist against enemy spells and you know you have more you know damage towards your spell so it'll help the battle go by a little bit faster and it'll save you from dying all right guys so i think that's going to wrap it up i'm not quite sure how many tips i shared with you guys i don't have that much time i just wanted to have a video out so i'm sorry if this wasn't one of my better videos i'm really sorry i know quality over quantity but i just i love making videos for you guys and i couldn't really think of anything else let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to make any more videos or leave some ideas in the comment section because i will be using one of you guys' ideas in the next video and then i will shout you out so if i like your idea you know, then you will get a shout out and you will be, you know, in my next video. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure to drop a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyway, my name is Nathan. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Especially for those of you that, you know, you don't have to go to school. You're already out. Yeah, just have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.